I like uh, VG Gaming's lineup this game. I think the anti mage pick at the time was really, really good. Get a little grip, Cinder. Oh, mid lane, looks like we're gonna get a kill one way or the other. No tail, resigned to right click, and Ori will take him down with first blood for Vici. Um, this is something that has a tendency of happening Ooh, in the current Nice patch. block off by Paparazzi, oh, S4 nice. dead again in that bot lane. And it's not like VGJ are paying a big price for it. Underlord, fine top, they helped him out with Elder Titan to prevent him from dying more than oh. once. Firestorm top at the Shackle coming through. Resolution with a lot of right click damage. The balance strike is enough to go. take him out. In the meantime, we have a charge onto the Elder Titan. Lan M, one more right click should do it. And I believe they were charging him while he placed a ward, so if S4 was paying attention to the inventory. Yeah. Well, oh, bottom lane, Jax has found Fenrir. Yep, JRX is there, but Paparazzi's here oh, he's as well. Six. Shackle into the charge, but the charge is on the AM. Anavoid not doing a whole lot, but the auto attacks do finish off that pesky OG hero. And this is a disruptor that went for an uncharacteristic level 3 in the end of strike. He might need the damage here. Oh, All right, Sonic Jarek's Wave died. completely blows up Jarek's S4 with another strike showing that is online now, but again, Vici Gaming completely surrounding him to defend this Vici. And got some monkey business here. Monkey coming in. We got a sunray onto two and a charge. Static arm being placed along with the shackle. Lots of damage being applied by OG. Can they actually finish anybody off? Elder Titans first. Underlord is next. But here comes the quap. The egg is gonna explode. It looks like. Don't think it's gonna connect on anybody. As Fenrir attempts to get out of dodge, but that's gonna be another kill going the way of OG. Sunray coming into effect as well. As for healing a bit as a result. Ori thinking about going back in. Doesn't have Sonic Wave for the three seconds, but. Could blinking and get a double, even a triple kill potentially. Gonna try for it. He gets one only. Make it two. Ori on the run, getting charged on the backside. Resolution with a couple more right clicks. Should be able to do so. One he takes him out. Of Mana Void does literally nothing. And Resolution looks like he's gonna pick up that no tail life. Oh, yeah. Jumps to a tree out. and dances away. It's not that yes, great. I think it, it is. A just for the glimpse. He needs to be able to maneuver fights against Underlord. He can get a lot of damage from Oh, pain. Resolution with oh. a big endless strike. Fenrir taking tons of damage. He's gonna go down in a, in a heartbeat. Resolution faking Wukong command. If you have a Manta, you can still be in trouble against SB with the Lincolns. He can't charge you when he sees you, so you can feel more confident. Oh, that double place. root from the Underlord. Sunray trying to keep his teammates healthy. They're gonna turn this around. Young Eleven getting quite low as well, and all they trade is the Dazzle, although he is a core. S4 in the meantime, trying to get out of mid, but not able to do so. Gank attempt here from OG. See if they can actually catch someone off guard. Jerex jumps in, gets the hex off. A nice oh, pit of mass onto three. Boundless strike with the Sunray coming into play as well. Young 11. He's getting quite low. He's going to get another strike. He's going to be the first casualty of this fight. Early shallow grave. We see the egg coming into play as well. Paparazzi has to run away for now. And looks like the Monkey King resolution will die. So it's a one for one right now as S4 trying to charge. It's not up for six seconds, though. Another Static Storm Kinetic Field. There's a, the Serpent Wards are placed, but it looks like it might be in, in vain. Not the most effective wards. The Paparazzi actually jumps in right into a Hex. As far as in Shadow Blade, there is a really possible wants to play. continue the pressure here. Shadow Strike applied to No-Tail. Paparazzi gets the Mana Void, destroys him. Oh, Another glimpse, glimpse into the Kinetic Field. Jerax looks to be next on the list. The Shackle does not last more than half a second. Toward VG is just a given with the lineup. Oh, oh, he boy. actually just blinked into Jerex. Yeah, and the link is online. Static Storm, Kinetic Field, Wukong's Command, placed by Resolution. S4 stuck inside that Static Storm, and it looks like he's going to be finished off first. Paparazzi now chasing Jerax, who has Hex in one second. Lincolns. But the Lincolns is there again, and there's the root from Underlord. It looks like Jerex is next on the list for Vici. Oh, Jerex? Whoa, Wait. Paparazzi. Okay, bottom lane. Paparazzi getting hit by Sunray into the Nether Strike. He needs another bash for this. He's not going to find it yet. He's going to finish off Fly first. It's a poison touch applied by No Tail. Paparazzi getting extremely low. Blinks away. Might be ticking down to the, the poison touch. Not sure. And it looks like Vici Gaming will lose the Aegis, but that's, that's an okay consolation for them. Is they're going to glimpse back S4 and find a double kill for Fenrir of all heroes. You can definitely react when a nullifier is in the air if you're expecting it. Um, but you need to immediately see the co-op going in and realize what is happening. Oh, Resolution, they're going in here. He's jumping in. The wards are placed, and the co-op is getting pretty low. The Sunray coming in. He's going to pop the BKB, and the first to fall is actually Shadow Shot. We already placed the wards. Ori getting extremely low, not able to blink out the safety. So one for one in OG's favor so far. Why do you question me in these situations? Oh, we're going to have a glimpse, though. This could be bad. Fly able to Icarus dive out, but Paparazzi is coming in to finish him off with that Mana Void. I think they're going to hunt here. The mid-dazzle, we'll see what he can do with his life. Nice balance strike from Resolution. 
They're gonna now get this tier two tower mid. I don't know if OG are willing to fight this. They have some key cooldowns. Well, they're weaving them at least to try to warm them up. Oh, they oh found them. Oh my him. god, Monkey King gets stunned for four seconds. Echo Stomp is coming in. And it looks, oh, nice shallow grave from No-Tail on the sidelines, but Resolution is super dead. 76 seconds on the deck, but does have buyback, like you said. Paparazzi trying, trying to, to find a glimpse pressure. here. No-Tail hiding inside oh, these two little nice, trees. Actually. Pretty nice play. Glimpse, he's able to step outside oh, of the kinetic so field. Good. I know it's <laughs> oh. Potentially, this is Rax. It is. He will have to do it eventually. There yeah, we go. He's going to do it. Paparazzi trying to blink out. There's the pit of malice. Young Eleven just going to pop, pop Dark Dark. Everybody Rift. get in the bus. Oh, he's going to take them all the way back to base. And they got two kills on their way out. Unbelievable. Two didn't dead even for need to OG. That, yeah, well, he regrets it now. Sometimes you, you get an Uber, you regret it instantly. But. Yep. Bad driver. One star for a Young Eleven. Looks like that is actually happening. They're just playing in the back lines Fake for a little bit. Strike forces out of four staff. But this barracks is in a lot of trouble. We have the Static Storm Kinetic Field placed. Dazzle is dead. Balance Strike comes out. Decent damage overall, but Ori able to blink out the safety with that BKB. Resolution pounding into the illusion that spawned from Paparazzi, who's going to continue to pound upon the flesh of OG. Melee racks down, and pretty much nothing lost for Vici. Great timing from Vici there on the engage. They respected it just until the end of Weave. Oh, Fly gets Yuled. Yeah, Glim Glimpse he connects to Supernova. Oh, okay. And Dunzo. Resolution looks to be next on the list. A beautiful Boundless Strike and Charge, but they might be too far behind at this point to come back in this game. Resolution healing up with that Jingu Mastery. Nice Shackle Shot. Nether Strike as well. Ori's dead. Could buy back if he really wants to try to finish this game, but a double kill for Jerax. Is OG able to salvage this at all? Young Eleven, Dark Rifting. <laughs> that was a close call there for Jerax, but not able to find the kill. Paparazzi, very difficult to kill at this Glimpse point. Glimpse on Phoenix. Yep, into the kinetic field, and the bash comes out. Well, we do have a Yules. Looks like S4 is going to come up with that charge. Nether Strike combination it has the BKB now as well, but the Phoenix is lost, and No Tail with the BKB of his own. Resolution Pop Gukong Command. Only one member of Vici inside, though. And they're just going to reposition. On the other side of the map, we have Jerax trying to hold off against Paparazzi and Ori, but that is not... Oh, oh they're they going to find him. They're going to find Resolution. That's a double kill for Paparazzi. And that's four dead for OG. And you have to think this is the beginning of the end of game one. Of this yeah, it's got to be game. This should be Megas or just end. Go straight down mid. This is a 2 on 4 but Vici's cores are looking very healthy in this situation. GG got my back and realize this one is done. In fact, the Chinese with cosmetics, I have to say... They are by far the best of any region. Yeah, Not what's this close. Coddle Staff? I, I don't know. What's that even called? Genuine Strike of the Light. I think some of their items they just don't even have in other regions. I don't is... know, I've never seen the staff before. How about we pay attention to the game, Pim? Thanks, even though we're talking about absolutely part nothing. of the game. Yep. <laughs> we have the Burrow Strike being applied. Looks like Doom is going to be the first blood, and it will go to Fly. Talked about this hero needing some early farm slash levels. We'll see if that ends up helping his cause. And we'll see this time around if OG choose to do something else than safe lane trial landing. I think it would be a mistake to do it once again, um, like they did in the last game. Somebody needs to move and put pressure elsewhere so they can get better levels. And Sanking is indeed moving in toward mid. No Tail will die, though. Yes, he will. Jerax a little bit too late, but the Burrow Strike is there. Another right click will take out Puck, so they get some sort of revenge. You really don't like doing this as a core. Like, you TP to a lane, and then you don't have an Im immediate impact there, so you just TP it away, because the opponent is going to pressure your lane right away. You look what No Tail's doing. He's oh. like, Oh, great. Top, top lane, sentries play, so Sandstorm will not be nearly as effective. Jerax trying to get that, AK, that Scarab off of him, but... It's called the Swarm. Paparazzi ends up netting himself with the kill. Generally, you make a move and then get a rune. Oh, I'll go back to farm. He found Fenrir. He does find Fenrir. Gets the kill with Battery Salt. TP's out in style. In the meanwhile, though, Jerax will be taken out by Paparazzi. So a trade of sorts is Resolution being pressured by Young Eleven. There's the Sunder. Lots of damage. Down he goes. Doom is dead. Double kill. For resolution. More fitting course. And that's one of the limitations of Captain's Draft, obviously. Oh, resolution. He gets coiled with the illusory orb. Still silenced up. Has Sunder in five seconds. We'll see if he can actually live through this engagement. Oh, Burrow Strike will. being applied. The Sunder, I'm sure, will come through shortly. And Ori is now very low on HP. Still hasted up. Illusory orb comes out. Hookshot will miss. Nice prediction, though. As No Tail looks like he's taken out by the Shikuchi. And after all that, No Tail dies in mid of all lanes. As oh, oh Jerax! That burst damage, ridiculous. Jerax dodges the auto attack though with the Sandstorm. Looks like Fly is on the menu though for Vici Gaming. Oh, they pick up stolen. that Bedlam, which is stolen by the Rubik. It's insane. 
Yeah, it's really, really it's good. It's ridiculously good. It's one of the, it might be one of the best, probably top five. We're going to have a coil here in the mid lane. Burrow strike, oh. epicenter combination. Noto trying to do as much damage before he dies. Majority of Vici gaming quite low. S4 looks like they'll clean up one, so ends up being a trade of the mid laners. Meanwhile, Cursed Crown applied to the Doom into the Bramble Maze. And that looks to be another kill going the way of OG. Jarex secures that with the Burrow Strike. Swarm coming out, though. is going to hit a couple heroes. What was stolen here? Burrow Strike. Oh, that's a big steal. High quality steal for Lan M. Terrorize on its way. Hits two heroes. Resolution like, please, I want to right click them. Don't let them back in the base. And that is so much damage. <laughs> Fenrir is just eaten alive by that Metamorphosis. Now we have potential fights on two sides of the map. Burrow Strike applied to the top, but S4 is the one that dies in the bot. And there's the cancel of the TP. Lanham is here for support. Here comes a resolution illusion, at the very least. Burrow Strike is there, and look at how much damage Metamorphosis is. I'm always very surprised, for some reason, how much damage this thing does as Lanham is just being pounded upon. Look at that range. Thanks to that beautiful Dragon Lance. It's actually going to be enough double kill for resolution. He is really, really strong right now. It's like I'm gonna find him at least for now. He gets silenced up from the waning rift. There's the mana leak, and he, oh my god, that's that's a hilarious interaction. You can't go in the water there, unfortunately. Resolution chasing with the reflection. Fenrir on the run. Cursed crown. That is a dead old man on a horse. And we have a smoke gank here that's from OG. Fail. They find paparazzi, but that's a very difficult kill, especially with that Lincoln's online. Oh, we have a blink from Young Eleven. Looks like he gets the Doom off, and that is a dead Dark Willow. Didn't Doom yet. He actually didn't even bother ha having to use Doom. He's inside the cogs. Look at the right clicks. He's broken with that Nether Toxin, taking tons of right clicks with that newly picked up Scotty from Resolution. Nice Burrow Strike onto two heroes. They are ripping right through Vici right now. Three for two. Paparazzi is next on the menu, but he does time lapse and the Shikuchi <laughs> to help his team. Resolution. They could kill Noto play. Yeah. I think Paparazzi wants this kill. Pretty sure. See if he goes for it. Ori is on the other side of the river. He's going to get Burrow struck off the bat into a Viper Strike. He's going to take a ton of damage. And Paparazzi, though, in the meantime, trying to get out of dodge as well. So they do trade the heroes, Viper and Puck. Paparazzi, there's that Burrow Strike being blocked by Lincolns for some reason. And he TPs out the safety. And there's Tier 2 Tower. Oh, looks like Young Eleven is taking a ton of damage from Resolution. That's a godlike streak for him. This is the timing here. Aegis push. Blinding light, annoying oh, with the mana leak. Absolutely no mana to speak of. There's a telekinesis. Can they take out this Terror Blade? He has Thunder available. No S4 mana. on the sideline. Very low. Of course, resolution, resolution with that Aegis. Still pretty healthy overall. Paparazzi kiting to a high degree. We have Burrow Strike. It's going to hit. There's the Terra. He's going to dodge it with a phase shift. Now the Curse Crown comes out, but Fly's taking the brunt of the damage with that Illusory Orb. Yules is keeping the puck oh, alive Paparazzi for now. Paparazzi is hitting so hard on No Tail. Unbelievable damages. Weaver able to get out of that epicenter. Loser Orb comes in. Ori, phase shifts. He's just all over the place, this guy. Lan M, though, he's resigned to his death. He gets Sunder onto Resolution. Will he be able to clean him up? No, the right clicks are enough for him. But you have to think somebody's going to come in and take that Aegis, and it's Ori. And they're going to clean up Fly on the backside. And Resolution's kind of alone here, but gets the reflection off 1v3. Who wins this fight? I don't know. <laughs> There's the Burrow Strike. Jarex pops the Sandstorm. Lan M gets the Burrow Strike, though, that he stole a while ago. Resolution has to get out of here. I guess you old. He will be out of mana here. Sunder is ready again. Oh, let's see if he can get it off. It's going to be close. He gets four step by his teammate across the cliff. Very nicely played. Hookshot S4, I believe, did that on his teammate to get closer. Resolution on the run. Very fast with that butterfly. But there's a coil onto two. Into the way anyways. Into the loser orb. Resolution is dead. And Jerax trying to go to the high ground. But it's not going to be enough as Vici Gaming God, so win that fight. So many good plays in that fight from everyone. That was a really nice fight. Probably the best fight. Most well played fight of the whole tournament. Terrorblade has to buy back or he's going to lose this Midrax for sure. It's a daytime caudal with Aghanims. Yeah, that is disgusting. This wave will not be taking any damage. And Paparazzi, well, it will, but it will be healed again. Level 25 has that speed boost on Shikuchi. So oh, he took that one. Even harder to kill. And he's going to go in Ori with the orb. Oh my goodness. No Tail gets absolutely decimated. S4 force staffing away. But here comes Young Eleven with the, the War Stomp. Actually able to get it off in time. The Infernal Blade is ticking him down. But Paparazzi's going all in on the itemization here. He buys the MKB, does not have buyback. Still doing so well, even when he's not playing his best. Despite all this, the hook, hook shot just misses. 
Oh, he got Doom! Gaming actually want to go on this. Doom onto Resolution. Look at that break damage! The coil! Oh my lord, two heroes dead for OG. And it looks not to be stopping there as No-Tail dies again. And Vici Gaming looking in great position to take this game. Resolution died pretty freaking fast there. The moment he gets doomed, he's dead. Like, I think that Coil did about a thousand damage when he broke. He gets Veiled, be Coil broken, and then Puck combos him with the rest, and there's still like two hits from Weaver. Plus, he feels surprised. really bad about himself, which is the most important thing. I mean, he has a Mental 6k damage. net worth lead still after all this. That is the most ridiculous thing about it, I think. But that's that's doom for you, man. You're rich, but you lose it all. <laughs> he presses a button on you, and you're just. I mean, I, I say it all the time. It's it's easily the most powerful single target spell in the entire game. Yes. Not even close. Absolutely. Doom is so strong. And this is the first time he finally gets it on the terrible, and you just see the fight just ends. Right. The moment he was doomed, I was like, this fight is over. Like, there's no way. No matter how well OG play that, they can't win. Yeah. And oh, we have a telekinesis onto S4. He just dies so fast. And Paparazzi we have a Sand King like in a trouble truck. as well. Yeah, He's gonna break. Out, Look at that! Wow. He had like 30% health and just died from TPing out. As this tier three tower is now under siege, buyback onto S4, but you have no resolution for 18 seconds. 38 minutes in the game. We might be seeing a second racks down for OG Shadow Realm. Popped by Fly. He's just gonna blow up right off the bat. Gets the curse crown off, but the heals. It's night time. He's showing how to play Weaver this game. Let's, let's call it that. Oh, mid lane. Oh, we have a smoke Ori, gank. Orchid. Orchid onto Puck. The Terrorize coming out. It's going to hit one hero. He's fine. Clockwork. Trying to get out of dodge here. There's the blinding light onto three heroes. No coil. Oh, stolen shot Hulk. stolen by Lanam. Looks like Esper is going to find his way to the grave. Coil onto two heroes. No more blinding light to work with. So they have to stand their ground as Paparazzi just takes out Fly very easily. There's the Doom. This time applied to No Tail. He gets bursted down. Lan M and company are doing so much work. But now Resolution pops the BKB. Trying to work towards Paparazzi. Gets that Shikuchi off. Trying to find that. That kill on the sidelines towards Jerax, who gets the Burrow Strike off in Resolution. Does he have Sunder is the question. He does, but he still has Aegis, of course. Gets Dagon. There's the Sunder coming out. See if they can do some more damage. It's Young Eleven right on top of him. No that's meta, one no. death. No meta, that's correct. Jerax onto two heroes with Burrow Strike. Lanham steals it. The question is, can he find him? He will. And that's three dead. Now a buyback onto the SK as Resolution looks like he might be resolved to his own death. Really, really rough game for him. Right, burrow strike, double burrow strike in fact, and four staffs galore. Looks like a hook shot applied to the coddle. It gets Telekinesis, does S4. Resolution now with that cursed crown from Fly. They should be able to find Fenrir unless Paparazzi has something to say about that. Looks like Resolution's gonna focus on that godless horse. Nice double burrow strike from Lanham. He's getting tons of burrow strikes this game. Two for, or one for one, buyback on the coddle in fact. There's the coil onto three heroes. Can Vici finish this game right here, right now? There's a Sunder onto the teammate, keeping him alive. His resolution. Pop Rice just rips right through Viper. And it looks like this might be the beginning of the end. It's Paparazzi getting quite low. Resolution. You have to be careful with this five second Sunder. You can apply it to Fenrir. They're not used to playing against this, that's for sure. Illuminate coming out. Resolution. Has to stand his ground here. Paparazzi pops time lapse. Not a whole lot of life gained from that triple kill for Ori, and that's the Dagon Express coming your way. They're pushing the tower from Mega Creeps. If they get these Megas and Paparazzi gets out alive, the game's over. Oh, he's oh, doomed. That's gotta out. be it. That's the Doom. Illusory Orb, and down he goes to the Dagon again from Ori, the bane of his existence. And Vici looks like Fly might be able to find Doom on the backside, but so much damage has been done from Vici. Looks like the structural damage is next as the fourth member of OG falls. And OG is now eliminated from Captain's Draft 4.0. And Vici looks very good. Very good, Cindy.